Hi, this is Namid and I hope you all are doing good. So in today's video, I'm going to create a makeup look using, uh, taking inspiration from this photo. Uh, I have most of the colors with me, like the greens and the uh, light green. I have already, I do have those colors in the Makeup Revolution palette. And I'm trying to create uh, something similar to that. It can change uh, in some way because I have a different face shape than her. I found it on Pinterest but couldn't trace it back, uh, sorry for that. So as you can see from my face, uh, there is a little bit of acne marks here and here and uh, some darkness here and we'll try to cover it up and uh, I will show you how to tackle with pimples like this. Uh, understand that makeup will show up on your face however the base is looking. So if you have a smooth plain base, plain face the makeup will look like that if you have some acne marks we will try to mend it up uh, but as you can see it is all dried up there is no like uh, bumps here but this is a bump so it will show up through the makeup i will cover the redness but a little bump will still show and uh, these are just marks so we can uh, tackle that as well and the right darkness we can tackle it as well but i will try to create this video in two parts First I will do the base then uh, the eyes, so the base will be a uh, more expl uh, explained video how you can tackle with the small things like these and uh, so if you are interested just keep watching and do give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel uh, if you want to see videos like this and uh, I will like your support as well. So do check my insta, I will uh, mention the link, my instagram link down below i'm active on insta and the youtube only and if you have any question or query you can comment down below or dm me on uh, my instagram channel and uh, thank you so let's start with the video first uh, the skincare part skincare is the most important part and you should never skip it so i'm going to uh, use this rose water this is a tnw rose water i've emptied it out like uh, just a little bit has left and uh, what we are going to do we are just going to spray it all over the face and let it uh, dry down a little bit we are going to tap the product in uh, yes you can turn on the cc uh, uh, there is a cc tab uh, mentioned above in the video you can turn it on if there is an issue with the audio or you are not able to hear my voice so the, CC, the captions will help you out. That is why I make these videos in English, not in Punjabi or Hindi. I'm, uh, I live in Punjab, so I can uh, make videos in Punjabi if you're interested in that, that do, uh, do comment down below. But you can turn the uh, CC on and uh, the captions will be in front of the screen. And it will help you to understand if there, is, if there are any words that you're not able to hear properly. So the captions will help you in that. Um, so uh, the product is dried down. The product is dried down. I'm going to use the same Pond's uh, Super Light Gel. Uh, basically, use this because it gives a, a shiny plump to the skin. Uh, my moisturizer is different. I use a minimalist vitamin B moisturizer uh, for daily basis, morning and evening. But for makeup, I use this. It will act as a primer as well. As you can already see, it gives such a good shine and. Uh, moisture to the face especially below makeup so it can act as a primer and key, uh, do uh, always take the moisturizer under your eyes as well until unless you feel uh, it, it is irritating under the skin and just take the moisturizer down below as well I've already used, used a lip balm the blue heaven lip balm so a little bit of concealing so i have this maybelline dream smooth uh, mousse this is a quite good uh, foundation a cream foundation you can say as you can see it is uh, quite darker than my skin tone but it has a little bit of pink uh, tone into it and uh, for uh, covering the under eyes i'm going to use it the pink tackles the blueness in your under eyes so that is why we use uh, orange or pink shades to color correct i'm using it with my fingers and just applying a little bit a little amount of the product it is already emptied out and i only use it to color correct sometimes
anywhere I am seeing blue or bluish uh, tones, I will use it to under color correct. This is uh, lead in color, so the pinks uh, it will not uh, tame it down. A green color uh, like color corrector to tame it down, but I don't have one currently. I'm using this Age Rewind concealer and just applying it on it. This is the uh, Age Rewind concealer in the shade uh, Sand. So I'm going to apply it on it and let it dry. Foundation I'm uh, just using the shade in uh, vanilla. The uh, it is already emptied out, but this last pumps I'm getting off it. This is a little bit lighter to my skin tone, as you can see. The shade is a little bit lighter. We will work it out. I'm using this uh, face, the one peach perfecter. This is in peach and shade. This is a tint tinted moisturizer, and I quite like it. Just going to use it below. the foundation I'm using the uh, foundation and I'm applying it just one pump using the wet beauty blender and just So further I'm going to use this concealer. This is the Fit Me uh, Concealer, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 10 Light. Darker foundation, the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation in, in the shade Hazelnut. I will show you the shade as well. A little bit too much product. I'm just using, uh, using this foundation as a uh, to contour and bronze to know the shade this is the shade how it is looking it's quite darker to my skin tone it has more of a redder undertone it's how the shade hazelnut looks i'm going to use it to contour i'm going to use a spa uh, spa same foundation sponge i use for the foundation to blend it out I'm using the my fingers to blend the concealer in. Now what I'm going to do, I'm using the say, uh, pump of this L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. Just going to reapply the foundation.
after blending the brush with my finger i'm going to use the sponge to blend it up and after that i'm going to use the wet and wild uh, powder duo the uh, i'm using the lighter powder to set the pimples and uh, the concealer we use to cover the pimple so that it doesn't move so easily going to set my under eyes with my uh, finger first then i'm going to use a brush to set it up so set the whole face up i'm just uh, blending out uh, the foundation and by using powder with my finger i'm just uh, mixing both foundation and the powder uh, uh, with each other after using my finger i'm going to set the whole face with this brush first i'm going to just place the powder then uh, using circular motion i'm just further blending the foundation and the powder i'm using the contour shade to contour my face further I'm using this Pro Art PE2 PF13. This is a like synthetic brush, I think so, and it is quite dense. I'm using it to uh, contour my nose. I'm going to pick up the product. You can see a tab the excess powder, and just contour like this. And no nose contouring is not compulsory to do on a daily basis. Look, it gives more of a structure to the face. I'm bringing the contour shade to the eyes as well. Now for the blush, I'm using this big fluffy brush and this quad. I'm using this blue heaven pan and the shade. The shade is not mentioned behind. It is like a uh, light, the peachy color. I'm not fan of the formula, but uh, I needed something like this, so I'm using this. This is a small amount. This one, uh, uh, one blush in Wet and Wild. It is quite good. It is uh, in similar shade. Now after that, I'm using this quad. And just picking up the both pink and peachy shade, peachy shade more, and just bringing the product. As you can see, how I'm applying the shade, um, just building up the product because of the photo otherwise one or two swipe is good i think this is enough now the base is already done we have done with the blush contour and everything uh this is a different the part one of the video i will uh keep the other the lip uh, the eyebrow and the eye makeup on a different video because it will be a little bit long i wanted to keep for the full footage of how i do my base that is why i'm uh, making this video in two parts so if you want to see how i do the eyes i will mention the photo of the eyes here as well if you want to see this look uh, you can uh, see the part two of the video i will do the lips and the eyebrows as well and uh, see you in the second yeah. part okay i hope you like the video do like and subscribe to the channel if you like this uh, base look uh, how is it looking 
आई यूज द फाउंडेशन टू कॉन्टोर दैट इज वाई आई अप्लाइड द सेकेंड लेयर ऑफ द लाइटर फाउंडेशन टू कवर अप द डार्कनेस ऑफ द फाउंडेशन सो इफ यू हैव अ गुड कॉन्टोर कलर यू डोंट नीड टू री अप्लाई द फाउंडेशन एंड दैट इज ऑल द ब्रश इज डन द कॉन्टोर इज डन एंड आई होप यू लाइक द बेस सी यू इन द सेकेंड पार्ट बाय बाय